this is all the latest news and gossip hey everyone this is tiara thanks for tuning into my channel i'm actually coming to you all with some sad news today model and actress kim porter has passed away at the age of 47. porter was in her toluca california home when police dispatch got the call of a patient in cardiac arrest tmz broke this story early thursday evening according to their website law enforcement sources tell tmz that kim went to bed early wednesday night because she wasn't feeling well and when family members went to wake her thursday she was non-responsive paramedics pronounced her dead at her home now right now the cause of death is still unknown but TMZ was told that over the past few days Kim was battling the flu or pneumonia and was receiving treatment for it now an autopsy and toxicology test still has to be performed to determine the true cause of death and there's no telling how long those results could take to come in now I do want to share a little bit about Kim Porter's past, her career, her life, her family relationships, and just some overall great facts to know about this woman who untimely passed away. Now, Porter was a model and actress born in Columbus, Georgia. You may have seen her on the TV show Single Ladies or in the movies The Brothers and Mama I Want to Sing. When it comes to Kim's family life, she was well known for dating Sean Combs, better known as Diddy. As of now, Diddy has not made any public statements regarding Kim's death, but according to a source that spoke with People Magazine, Diddy is devastated and shocked. The two of them had a 13 year off and on relationship lasting from 1994 to 2007. The two biologically shared three kids, 20-year-old Christian and the 11-year-old twins Jesse James and Delilah. Now we definitely can't forget about her firstborn son, 27-year-old Quincy, who she had with R&B singer Albie Shore. The whole family was last seen together just about two weeks ago on October 30th at the premiere for Quincy's new Netflix movie, The Holiday Calendar. Now this is truly incredible. Netflix headquarters. Wow. Wow, wow. Come here. No, come here. Come here. Got my fam here. Yes. So yeah, fun. yeah. Team here. Hey. This Friday. Tomorrow. Yes. Oh, no. What's today? I don't know. I'm happy. <laughs> The day after Kim's passing, I'll be sure honored her death, sharing a throwback photo of him and her with the hashtag Forever My Lady and reference to the song he wrote for Jodeci. Here are some interesting facts about Kim and Albie's relationship. They met in New York and she played his love interest. They named their son Quincy after Quincy Jones, one of Albie's music mentors. And while Kim was pregnant with Quincy, Al was writing Forever My Lady and he used life with they told this story on an episode of TV One's Unsung a few I years ago. I started to write the song, Forever My Lady, and it was about Kimberly. The song was about Kim. Uh, so you had my baby, it means so much to me. And I remember they were working on the song and they couldn't come up with the lyrics. And Al looked at me and he was like, so you're having my baby. And I was like, ah! Forever My Lady ultimately became the title track of Jodeci's debut album and a number one hit. Porter was a true family woman. You can tell from this clip of her celebrating Mother's Day with Diddy yes, and their yes. kids. But the theme of the night is huh? family over everything. Over everything. Right? Exactly. And what a beautiful family you have. Absolutely. Congratulations. You can also tell this by looking at her Instagram. Majority of her posts are family related and include her children, including her second to last post before her passing, which you see here. Despite the fact that Kim decided to end her relationship with Diddy about six months after their twins were born, they always remain good friends and she never stopped supporting him, which you see in posts like this. Several celebrities have been responding to Kim's death online. Snoop Dogg posted this video. Yo, I want to send my condolences out to um, 
Kim Porter's family, to Diddy, the twins, Quincy, Christian. Man, y'all keep y'all head up, man. I'm praying for y'all. I love y'all, man. It's Big Snoop Dogg. You're sending some love. Make sure y'all pray for their family, man. Pray for their family. Drake made an Instagram post Friday saying, sending peace and prayers to my brothers and to the big homie Puff. Love y'all and I am so sorry. Kim's friend Lala Anthony also made an Instagram post on Friday saying, you are the true definition of being beautiful from the inside out. I'm praying hard for your family and all of your friends. Heartbroken, God bless you, rest easy. 50 Cent tweeted sending his condolences to Kim's family and also mentioning how much Diddy loved her and how much 50 himself thought they were soulmates. Rapper Missy Elliott tweeted saying how much Kim loved her kids and how those that knew her will remember her smile, laugh, and kind heart. Rihanna posted on Instagram that she feels heartbroken by the news. She called Kim beautiful, a special soul, and a real one. Now here's a look at what some other celebrities had to say, including Russell Simmons, Portia Williams, and Wendy Williams. I personally would like to honor Kim Porter with this quote that she recently posted by Joseph Columbrita, saying her beauty is a work of art, but her soul is the holy grail. When you remember Kim Porter, remember her for more than her beauty, but also her beautiful soul and spirit. Rest in peace, Kim.